The message you're about listening to is from Pastor E. A. Adibui, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. So he keeps thinking ahead. Oh man, Ronu Shaju Bini. What will daddy need? Kini onti baba yo nilo. I won't ask, but he will come and say, I think you need this. I said, no, I don't, no, 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 I think you need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. And then I gave them an example. He was sick on the hospital bed. And I went to visit him to pray for him. He said that after I prayed, he said, Daddy, I hear that you are going to Singapore. I said, Yes. To go and dedicate our church there, I said, Yes. He said, What about the ticket? Oh, I said, God has taken care of that. What about accommodation there? Oh, Somebody has paid for that. What about transportation while you are there? Oh, somebody has made arrangement about that. What then can I do? I said, my son, all I want you to do is get well. So he kept quiet. Oh, I don't care. But as soon as I left, he picked up a phone and called somebody. And I said, My daddy is going to Singapore. The fellow is going to meet there. He's a young fellow. He didn't know how to entertain an important man like my father. I want you to. Get up now. Travel to Singapore. Take some Nigerian food with you. And wait my, for my daddy there. He was on his hospital bed. And he was thinking of how his father would be comfortable on the foreign field. You know, there are some children. When they get married, the parents will say, Thank God, thank God, bye bye. There are some children. When they are getting married, the parents are happy that they are getting married. But they are sad because they know a gap will be left behind. The kind of children that will be a helper to the parents. The kind of children that will lift up the hands of their parents. That's what your children will be in Jesus' name. Shall we talk briefly about John the Baptist? John the Baptist was referred to by the Lord Jesus Christ. As the greatest among the men of the Old Testament days. My desire for you, brethren, it's not that your children will just be great, but that they be very, very great. Amen. Jesus said concerning John the Baptist in Jesus. Matthew 11, verse 11. Matthew 11 verse 11 He said of all men 
born of a woman there has not arisen a greater than John the Baptist what is so special about John the Baptist oh no doubt about it he was a great witness for Jesus he was a voice to the nation and he was able to gather multitudes together calling them to repentance and I'm believing God that your children will be gathering millions together for Jesus Christ amen but the, probably the most important thing about him was his humility he Thank you, Father. I will show you. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. We be alone so many company. Lale. That you ate in your dream. The old young Lujuala. And as a result, all kinds of terrible things began to happen. You pass a bed. I won't. The Lord asked me to tell you I will flush out every contamination in your system. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said, very soon, like Jojo, there will be no sign left that you have ever suffered. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Amen. Now, listen to so you. John 3 30. Wait, John said, John said, Jesus must increase and I must decrease. That was the greatest statement that came out of his mouth. He said, Jesus must be lifted high. He must keep on going higher. Me, I must remain humble. I pray tonight that whenever people are talking about your children, they will say one thing is clear. He's a very humble child. So shall he be in Jesus' name. Let me take one more example and then we will pray. Paul. Paul. The apostle. Paul. Apostoli. There was one child that not only influenced his generation. But he's still influencing generations thousands of years after he died. It was highly educated. And I'm praying for all the children here tonight. The Almighty God will give you divine wisdom. Amen. You will never fail again in Jesus' name. Amen. 
e o ni ri ijakule mo ni oruko Jesu ah thank you father amen <laughs> the lord says there is there somebody here tonight Lord so pe nikan be ni ilale yi they say your child is retarded won so wi pe o mo re ko ja fafa i will give the child a brand new brain ma fun o mo re na ni opo lo tuntun I'm talking about Saul of Tarsus. It was highly educated. He influenced the generation that he was born in. Yeah, he influenced generations yet unborn. He was very, very hungry for God. He wanted to know God. In Philippians 3, verse 7 to 11. Philippians 3, verse 7 to 11. He didn't say because he already had word knowledge, he doesn't want to have the knowledge of God. In fact, he said that in order that I may know him, I I'm ready to throw away everything. Also, we pe ki emi ki o le mo, mo se ton lati jowo gbogbo nko un ti mo tin ni saju. He was totally sold out to God. O je eni ti o ti jowo ara re, patapata fun Olorun. In Philippians 1 verse 21. Ninu we Philippi kini I Philip ori kini ese kokan le logun. Philippians 121. Philip ori kini ese kokan le logun. He said for me to live is Christ. Pe fun mi lati ku oni Christi. To die is gain. Ati ere si ni fun mi lati ku ba kan. Only be sent so down to go. Lati o fi ara re ji fun Olorun patapata. And it was mightily used of God. Ben the Lord was in Ogi de Gidi. The Bible says his handkerchiefs his aprons were healing the sick. Bibeli so we pay asho idujure. O mu ni larada. He was a great author. He wrote many books. Ben the oje o ako we gidi gidi o ko kupo ni na mo we Bibeli. The Rome the book of Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, etc. etc. He wrote them all. We Rome, we Corinthians kini ati keji ati opolopo be be lo o lu ko won. But what is so good about him? He knew no to worship but that he to die and pray. Is that once upon a time he was completely anti-Christian. O pe ni igba kan na o je ni to se aselodi si Christi. And then one day the Lord and changed completely. Ṣugbọn lojo kan o ba Olorun pade o si yi pada patapata. And if God could change Saul of Tarsus, ti Olorun ba wa le yi Saul ora Tarsus pada. To Paul the apostle, to wa so the Paul apostle, the exact opposite of what he used to be. O to je idakeji, o n to nse tele tele. Then I have good news for those of you who have been walking against God before that tonight you will become a brand new breed amen but wa ni iroyin ayo fun opopolopo tin be ni ila leyi to je pe asodi si christi ni yin sajuri pe lati oni lo olorun yo so yi die da otun the man of god was talking to some of his senior pastors ala boju tu agba kan ba awon olisagun ton la bere soro and he saw the attitude o wa ri bon se nhu wa si that all they want what they can get from him on ti won fe ni on ti won le ri ko je lara e they were not thinking of what they can do to help him won o ti e ro nu bi won se torun and what they can do to help him won o ro nu ti won le ri lati ran lowo and he was disappointed o wa inu e wa baje so he was talking to god o wa nba olorun soro i said god o pe oluwa Are these the people I'm going to hand over your church to? Pe si awon to fe ki fi share re le lowo re. 
What am I going to do? With this kind of attitude. These people will destroy this work within a short time. And God spoke to him and said, uh, I think what you need, my son, is a new breed of pastors. Ah, thank you, Lord. Send them in. Send them new breed of pastors. Who will be thinking of what can we do to help instead of what can we get? Then God said to him, There are two ways of getting a new breed. I can send a new breed of pastors. I can change the old to new. I have the power to transform. I pray for all of you who are here tonight with difficult children the power of transformation of the most high God will come upon them in Jesus name in conclusion the Bible says in Psalm 115 verse 3 Psalm 115 verse 3 He says our God is in the heavens He says our God is in the heavens he said, from tonight, I will cause new rivers to flow in your life. And they will bring with them new fishes. Mm -hmm. The Lord said there is someone here tonight. He said some people told you you would never make it to the top. The Lord asked me to tell you. Number one. Because of the law of harvest. Those who say you will never make it to the top. Their own progress will stop right now. Yeah. Number two, the Lord said, they will watch you reach the top. Amen. 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 Our God is in the heavens. He does as he pleases. He can change Jacob to Israel. He can change Saul of Tarsus to Paul the Apostle. He can change son of sorrow to honorable man. He can change a madman to an evangelist. He can change a witch to a divine treasurer. He can change anybody from bad to good. And he's going to do something special here tonight. Amen. However, in Matthew 12, verse 33, 
Matthew 12, 33. Matthew The Bible says, Make a tree good. And his fruit shall become good. Make the parents good. And the children shall become good. What happens to your parents tonight? On to be We will be determined by what happens to the parents. If the parents become converted to the Lord, it will flow down to the children. So if you are here tonight, and you are not yet surrendered to the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot be living in sin and expect your children to be doing the will of God. Like father, like son. Like mother, like daughter. If you, the parents, will not surrender to God, how can you expect that your children will serve the Lord? Therefore, tonight, if there's anyone there that is not yet born again, for the sake of your children, those born and those yet unborn, come and surrender your life to him. As for the children, some of you are already old enough to know the difference between good and bad. If you want God to make you a new breed, remember the text that I read. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. If you want to become a new creature, you must surrender your life to Jesus Christ. So if you are there and you want to give your life to Jesus, come now. Nobody is too young to be saved. And nobody is too old to be saved. And parents, if you want your children to be blessed, if you want your children to be a new breed, the first step is that you must give your life to Jesus. When the tree is made good, the fruit will become good. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, begin to come now. Ask God to save your soul. Ask God to be merciful unto you. Ask God to forgive all your sins. Hurry up. And those of us who are interceding for them, please let's intercede for them for another one minute. Ask that God to be merciful unto these children. Forgive all their sins. And write their names in the book of life. If you are coming, make sure you don't stop by the way. Keep coming. I will pray for you just as I'm praying for those in front here. Make sure you get here before I finish praying. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father Almighty, we want to thank you for tonight. We want to thank you for your children who have come forward tonight. Every one of them, Lord, receive them in Jesus name be merciful to them in Jesus name
Forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life in Jesus' name. And Lord, from now on, let them become brand new creatures in Jesus' name. Anytime they call on you, please answer them in Jesus' name. Please, Lord, don't let them go back into the world. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please join us on this same station at this time for another wonderful experience as Pastor E.A. Adeboye exposes the deep mysteries in the Word of God.